Hello, everybody. Patrick are here. It's too early in the morning for this Nintendo. Why I gotta do this? So we got Nintendo Direct coming up in less than two minutes. So, uh, and to be more specific, uh, Nintendo Direct Mini, third party or partners presentation or something along like that. They did this last year, I believe, or the year before. Well, majority through, uh, COVID 2020, they, they did this. People really thought this was like since they didn't do their tone direct, you know, early in the the month, you know, when everyone else did their presentations, they just decided to nah. Here's Xenoblade Chronicles three direct, and here's the partners direct coming up today. So, uh, I hope that this is worth waking up nine in the morning to watch. I mean, of course, you know, it's not streaming or being premiered. It's just people, I believe, said just uh, just going to be popped up. So, uh, just refreshing because it's like literally less than a minute to go. Oh, uh, I just hope that got some good games. Maybe, you know, with this partners direct, you know, hey, they're going to announce Persona 3, 4, 5, 4, Nintendo Switch because... Alice announced it for Xbox a couple days later for PlayStation and Steam. Maybe today's the day will finally, you know, it'll finally happen, you know? <laughs> okay, so it is 9 o'clock. Let's just see. Way too tired for this. Way too tired for this. <laughs> nope, nope, it's not... It's not o'clock, Nintendo, or, or, or are they streaming it? Because I didn't see in, in my emails anything about them going live. No. Nothing from Nintendo about them going live. So they have to be uploading this, like, now. Uh, come on. There we, there we go, 26 minutes. Oh, uh, I think there's some, uh, uh, <laughs> Monster, Monster Hunter. Yeah, there, there we go, there we go. All right, so let us start in three, two, one, play. 26 minutes, please be good. And right at 2 m possibly, hmm? Let me just lower this because that's that's too loud, too loud. <laughs> Partner showcase. When mankind is consumed by darkness, so they're starting off with Monster Hunter, okay? Chaos, the arch demon Sunburst, of the abyss Sunrise, shall rise from the earth. No Monster Hunter Rise, they Sun. Here I'm, I, don't, I don't remember the name. <laughs> Both beast and man have more in common than they think. This doesn't really do anything for me because I'm not really a big Monster Hunter fans, but those like it, good for y'all. I thought those were flowers. <laughs> and return to darkness. The story ends. Another begins. Wandering flames. I see you found your home. This is the end. <laughs> Here it comes! 
Oh, oh my, <laughs> my planet needs me. Sun break. I was close. I was close. What? Purple balls. Just what? Seas season phase of goose. Like Beals above Beal Juice coming together. Should be good. Hmm. Okay. So continue on to 2023. And that comes down in two days. Oh, and for the expansion, there's an update. Or a demo. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Okay, well, let's get your first into party. the headlines. <laughs> the battle to reclaim Earth begins. Yeah. The year is 5012 AD. Machine forms have overwhelmed the planet causing the collapse of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. Yo! Now, with an android squad called yes. Nora, the humans are prepared to stand against these machine life form invaders. If you guys haven't seen my Let's Play on it, go watch it. It's a fantastic game. A really great. Grab it. Grab this android game. 9S. Our two key members of this squad Yes. Nice. Machine life forms in conflict with androids. Now they also got to bring oh, over Nia Replicant. Yes, you can play this so without knowing the context of of the Nier, Nier Automata, uh, of Nia Replicant. But be better if you play Replicant. <laughs> New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Oh. Reclaim Earth in Near Automata, the end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. Free I Earth recommend this. On Nintendo I highly recommend, recommend you guys get this. This is a really good game. Maze of Deception. Ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story this in this is, modern this take looks on very adventure interesting. Games. <laughs> Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. <laughs> Familiar faces are making a splash in these games. Splash? Oh. Oh, okay. A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. R2. Time, a bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. <clears throat> a team of up to 15 players must blast their way to treasure chests. 15? While one defending player tries to hold them off. Set up your defense Ooh. wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. You can also create and share your own battle stages. Have a blast okay, that, that's when pretty Super good. Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. 
10 Mega Man Battle Network games originally released on the Game Boy Advance system are coming to Nintendo Yo. Switch. Control Ten. Mega Man in grid-based combat and use battle Yo. to gain devastating Yo, that, that is nice. This I always wanted to play the, ba the Battle Network games. Illustrations like, I've always seen them like, uh, like them. Over like plays like uh, from across the series. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. I've seen them around. I forgot the store's Switch name. Uh, Brand Smart. I've seen them there, but I never could be able to pick them up. One and volume two, each sold separately. Okay, so two volumes. A remake of Pac-Man World is coming soon. Oh. Pac-Man's family has been kidnapped. I was about to say, to is this them, the, the Ghostly Adventures version Ghost of Pac? <laughs> Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Trounce enemies with Pac dots. The rev roll the butt bounce and a giant pac-man from high speed chases okay to really wasn't expecting we'll that but all hey. sorts of zany levels save the pac fan in pac-man world repack launching on nintendo switch august 26. two unlikely friends one incredible journey that looks cute. A fawn and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. That's adorable. In this emotional adventure, these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play so all players can enjoy it. Aww. Forge an unexpected bond in Blanc. Well, at the end, the wolf... Launching you know. as a console exclusive on <laughs> Nintendo Switch, February 2023. Okay. Arr, a Monkey Island? Adventure returns. Monkey Island, this is... Yep. Pirating is in my blood. Like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I think I I've got, got stories about a couple ships, of them from fights, love, Amazon treasure, Prime trail, and or Prime Pink. Gaming, whatever. How about <laughs> one that has all of the above? My name is Guybrush Threewood, and this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. Okay, the art style is. It reminds me of Jenny LeClue. That's what I'm getting from here. Like it kind of looks like that same style, like even like with the eyes and whatnot. Glad you know Monkey Island's coming back. That's a pretty good <laughs> six minute walk. That's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> that then the six minute drive. What is it? Hmm. Well, six minute drive can bring to place farther. So. Monkey <laughs> around in return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. Last June? Mario and the Rabbids uh, blast off for a galactic uh, adventure I, in the latest Mario I don't really care. game. Not my type of game. Space is in a universe of trouble when otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Go Rabbids. <laughs> take the energy possessed by Sparks, these mysterious creatures. Now, our heroes must set out to save them. I mean, it was already leaked, the, the release date. <laughs> Darbits, okay. You'll initiate a turn-based battle when you encounter an enemy. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. Let's start with Mario. 
three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. Now select Rabbit Rosalina and have her dash into another. Next, Rabbit Luigi. One more dash, and now Disruptor time! By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Okay. Mario. Like, really Let's confused, like, why? Do <laughs> you really want to focus on all like, Oh, hey, I can turn. slide right into them. Last but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally and jump! Get positioned, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, okay. our mm. turn's over. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. If you don't, it won't be pretty. All right, we've got the floor again. Dash toward the bomb, bomb And if you chuck it over... Boom! That'll do it. The key to victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield. Wait, is that Bowser? And he's joining the team? Well, okay. Not the first time it happened, but Nintendo okay. Switch system October 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I thought Check it was out Ubisoft's 10. special showcase tomorrow for more details hmm. about Mario okay. plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. So you guys want to watch that? We hope you're looking okay. forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbids. Let's take a look at more headlines. There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of these multi-layered ruins changes oh, okay. every time you enter them. I was about to say, wait, is, is this another, like, either I should Od Odyssey or Bravely game? Because, like, the character art style reminds me of, uh, of Bravely. Oh, today. All aboard! In the management sim Railgrade, you'll build railway systems to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony. Complete various tasks to prepare each shipment before it's delivered to its destination. Your strategies will change based on various factors, like the number and length of trains to run, which resources to acquire, and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Railgrade steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Okay. Join aspiring game creator Kenta in a hand-drawn adventure to save the world in his latest oh. creation, The Legend of Right. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 pages where you must draw, Is erase, each page an hour? <laughs> solve puzzles, and even consult your handy calculator. Discover a new way to play every time you turn the page. RPG Time, The Legend of Right unfolds on Nintendo That's interesting. Switch August 18th. That's a very Pre interesting take on, you know, on RPGs. <laughs> Spin dash into a new zone. Oh, ooh. ooh. Sonic's latest be excited? adventure right. kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands. Home to a mysterious civilization. It's people have not been very excited Here, for this game. <laughs> you can freely dash through a vast open zone, taking full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Ooh. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. With Ooh, good timing, good. <laughs> you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. Okay. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Whoa, whoa. Supersonic speeds and grab keys to progress. Just like, if you guys are wondering, there's, you know, some classic zones. Here it is. <laughs> what awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Oh. 
Sonic Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Live magically alongside your Disney and Pixar friends. But will Sora be there? Greenlight Valley was once an idyllic land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony until the forgetting turned this dream into a nightmare. Now, it's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. Bring the magic back to Dreamlight Valley in this mesmerizing life simulation adventure. It's not gonna lie. Many diverse if this was like you know, like lasting friendships with heroes action and RPG. Life. I would probably be Everyone into this. We'll have personal stories to discover and adventures but, to complete. Eh. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world, you can yeah, be whoever I, I, you dream yourself to be. Don't really. Yeah. Disney Dreamlight <laughs> Valley launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th as an early access Ooh. title. Yeah. Take these adventures with you on the go. Live oh. Alive is coming alive on July oh, 22nd. Live Alive. I totally forgot how it's Multiple like pronounced. I thought it was like Live Alive. Time periods and this gameplay. Live play. Alive. Now in HD 2D. A demo with the start of three chapters Imperial China, Twilight of Edo Japan, and The Distant Future will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Okay. Save data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Doraemon, no Oh, and Doraemon. On an unknown planet, who oh. decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams uh -huh. by farming, plow the fields, harvest crops, and tend to the animals. This is just like, hey, he even use your story seasons, but Doraemon now. <laughs> farm in a flash. Relax by living with friends, eating delicious meals, and fishing. And with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. Doraemon Story of Seasons Friends of the Great Kingdom launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. I wonder if it'll have the English the dub. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. A beautiful land surrounded by rich I heard the, of this, but I've never seen any dimension. footage of it. Team up with allies mm. and fight against this monstrous force threatening the world. What's Hog Rider? <laughs> in this new yet familiar universe? Uh. Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It's a treasure hunter's paradise. Oh, oh yeah, this was like now last year, right? Yeah. Venture to the realm of Draconia to become legendary treasure. Glad it's getting, you know, a Western release. This Dragon Quest series spin-off. You'll recruit a variety of well-mannered monsters to join you on a marvelous adventure. With their help and with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. Monsters are a perfect travel buddies for exploring this vast world. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges. I think they could have made the guy's voice a little bit louder. Seems like the music is overtaking him. Monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Yeah, he, the music is a bit louder than him. And see how much it's Tap worth. it. Collect more riches to expand your base and increase your treasure hunting level. X marks the spot. When Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th. Hmm. Okay. I was about to wait. Are they showing three uh, three fates? Like it's already out. <laughs> but he, he here's a highlight reel. Uh, I I really want to play three houses, like. I still haven't picked it up. <laughs> Just like more other games have my priority. <laughs> yeah, cloud version. Oh, I was gonna pick that up. It's but and Squirting still hasn't announced any native ports yet. <laughs> well, King Hearts. Uh, that's what I was talking about. It's like, oh yeah, they have announced a native port. Portal? Portal We're one going two? To have so much fun together. At first, your participation is appreciated, 
and required. Why that portal is coming to Nintendo? Was it not an announced Your previously? Collection will be available later today. Oh. I to call it the it Why do you keep killing me collection? <laughs> but oh well. It portal's really Let's fun. Get started. Really it's fun. Monster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was announced previously, so but glad you know it's coming out. Farm, fight, and forge friendships in a new fantasy world. Welcome to Lethe, a peaceful village where seasons brightly color the environment. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. Uh... Do a little farm work, cook and craft items, and trek through the fields to collect materials. Mm. I'm just not into the All live aspect. Along the way. Like, hey, the seasons go fish, hey, from spring go do summer, some cropping fall, or and whatever. Just However, not for me. They will give way to the season of death. Quietus. Crops oh. wither. Life is threatened. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. Okay, we got three minutes left. <laughs> the fate of the village depends on you. Begin your new life in Harvestella, launching on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Okay. This next segment will be our last announcement. Oh. Please take a look. Okay. Mission start. Yeah. Here is guys. Here is guys. Are you guys that that's been complaining? Days and days. And today, it's here. Along an it's here. Top secret video. I hope you're ready. Here it is. Yup, Persona 5 Royal will launch on Nintendo Switch October 21st. And that's not all. Let's keep the ball rolling, huh, Teddy? <laughs> right -o! Nice baton pass, Morgana! Okay, everyone, check this out! One. <laughs> Better bear leave it! Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are also coming! Yes! Finally! Now come on. Persona 1 and 2. Persona 1 and 2. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. People were asking. We finally got it. Now. Now shut the fuck up about. Recording it. Uh, but here you guys go. Persona is now on the Switch. <laughs> enjoyed it. Wait, I enjoyed it. Most definitely. I mean, Monster Hunter, eh, not really my thing. Uh... Near Automata coming to Switch, yes, absolutely fantastic game. Now we need that uh, replicant coming to the Switch as well. That's something, because like again, like I said earlier, it's a really, really great game. You can play without replicant, but it'd be better if you play with replicant before playing Automata, because there's lots of reference callbacks to the first, first game. But you know, lots of well. Lots of in between, don't care. Oh, 
Mega Man the Battle Network games coming to Nintendo Switch. Great. It's like a, how they did the uh, Mega Man's collection. You know, they're, eh, they're doing two sets, so Volume 1, Volume 2. Pretty awesome. And, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, Dragon Quest Treasures. That's finally coming west. And now Twitter's just like, thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice, for bringing Persona to Switch. Ah. <laughs> well, they, the Malads did it. The Malads did it. Now, it's just one last thing to do. One last thing to do before they have to announce Persona 6. Persona 1 and 2 duology remake slash remaster i was this is the only thing i ask i know how much you love persona 3 4 5 obviously the last thing we need is persona 1 and 2 remake that is it that is it bring all to all bring to all of the mod consoles so we can finally have all the games you know on the same uh consoles and whatnot and we're good we're good that's all I have to do. Please, Alice. You gotta do that. And I'm and now I'm just wondering to myself, am I gonna pick it up for pick up Persona 5 on Switch as well? I mean, it does can have all the DLCs, including the Persona 3 or 4 boss battles, so oh man. But uh that, that that's just and they didn't say if it was physical or digital. Hmm. I, I hope it's, if it's coming out, I hope it's physical, but it's probably going to be full price, so I don't know. But uh, let me know in your thoughts, comments, and opinions on uh, this this pretty nice Nintendo Direct uh, Mini. Uh, this is almost like uh, last year when they hey, had uh, Nocturne HD and uh, SMT5. That that was <laughs> essentially, they, they ended off the same way. Hey, we're going to end off with Alice there and off with Alice here. <laughs> so yeah let me know what your thoughts comments and opinions about the games that you saw here what games will be picking up what games you thought was and what games do you think might be like yeah no <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like subscribe share with all your friends check out links in the description below for my social media links and i'll see you guys soon with my next video power out yeah